Here we have the all new 2022 Chevy Bolt EUV Premier. And this one comes in the beautiful cherry red tint coat. And it's on the cool ash sky gray perforated leather interior. And for your powertrain, you get a 200 horsepower electric motor. And you have a 65 kilowatt hour battery. I love this red though. So as we get to the front here, we have LED daytime running lights along with LED headlamps. And then down here, we have 17 inch aluminum wheels. We have passive keyless entry on the front two doors. And there you have the controls for your power door locks, windows and mirrors. And this one having the sun and sound package, you have the Bose speaker system. And there's your power driver seat with power lumbar support. That dinging is really loud. And here you have the controls for your heated rear seat there. Let's check out this leg room. Ooh. So it's okay. I mean, for it to be a, a crossover, I could use a little bit more leg room, but I am six foot three. And I could probably scoot the seat up a little bit more because I don't need all that space. And then there you have your USB-C and USB charging port for the rear. And then for your middle seat, oh, there are your cup holders there. Let's check out the cargo space next. Now with this Bolt EUV, you do get LED tail lamps along with LED brake lights. So it's nice to have that. And there you have your cargo space. Let's go ahead and fold the rear seat down so you can see that space. If you ever need it, fold that flat, then you have all that extra room for longer objects or to fit more in there, whichever you need. And then you can just snap that back into place. And there's your passenger seat there. Now GM is slowly catching up with the likes of other electric manufacturers, but I'm gonna hop in the driver's seat here. You have a nice leather wrapped steering wheel. It's one of the nicer steering wheels I've seen actually. And then here you have your updated infotainment system. And this really is where the Chevy Bolt kind of leads the class in terms of EVs. You have your AM, FM, XM radio, along with your Bluetooth audio. And there's your nav system here. You have a backup camera, front camera. And then of course you have that wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And I just feel like this system is faster than, let's say, a Tesla's. And you don't have to reset it quite often, but I don't have that much experience with it, so just my opinion. So you have single zone automatic climate controls here, which is interesting, but with it being a smaller car, you probably only need single zone. But I do like that you have three stage heated and cooled seats for the driver and passenger. That's really nice, which I don't see much in the segment. Um, of course, you can adjust the fan speed and then you can even heat the leather wrap steering wheel if you want to. And in here you can toggle your sport mode. Here you have your lane departure you can toggle. And then down there you have a wireless charging pad as well as a USB and USB-C charging port. 
and then an SD card for that navigation system. Now to this shifter here, you press P for park, pull up on the R for reverse, press down here for neutral, pull up here for drive, and then you can actually toggle your one pedal driving to uh, heighten up the regenerative braking. And then you have your electronic parking brake. And there is your center console cubby space there. And I like how they gave you a rear camera mirror here. It's really nice. Good picture and all that. And then there you have your power sunroof, which you can one touch slide back. So nice to have that there. And there is your rear seat from up here. And there's your glove compartment with your owner's manuals. And over to the left side of the steering wheel, you have your adaptive cruise controls here. Your gap adjust for that. <laughs> then on the right side of the steering wheel, we have your Bluetooth controls, and then you can go through your gauge cluster functions as well. And then you even have your favorites, which you can control from the left side of the back of the steering wheel. And then your volume, which you can control from the right side. There's your push button start. And here's your key fob with remote start. 